I believe in Joe Hendrick. I believe in Joe Hendrick. Oh shoot, sorry guy. It was uh, a little bit in the middle of something. This is your boy, Gary Dane here. Today we got ourselves a spectacular match here. As so we're getting Dio Brando, former two-time Canadian champion, taking on Philip's best friend, Disco Bear. Now, these two have, have a rather interest. The two men in yellow right here, they want to fight to see who has the best, who looks the best in yellow. And that's what this match is going to determine, because whether it be chaos or unorganized, every match has a purpose. Every match feels like something, as we're in the San Francisco Walmart. Again, unorganized budget has gone a little A-Ride due to our missing other commentators, so we've had to rent out parking lots of various stores like this, and as you saw a few days ago, uh, sorry, stop. Uh, Walmart, here comes Dio Brando. Now, some of you might be commenting, um, how is Dio going to participate in a match where there's sunlight outside? He's a vampire. And as established in JoJo lore, he, he can't really do sunlight. Well, you see, we actually found, he actually found a way around that. He put on a shitload of sunscreen before the match. So uh, that's, how, that's how he's getting around this. It's also a pretty simple solution. I'm kind of surprised more vampires didn't think of this, but that's, that's the brilliance of Dio Brando. And wait a minute. Oh. Seems like the sky was a little messed up there, but that's okay though. As he spores around, he's ready to take on the discoy of all bears. Did I mention I'm Gary Dane? Well, you get it now because. God dang, I'm in a lot of episodes. Anyway, yeah, here comes Dio. He's getting ready for. Is he gonna do the pose for his new entrance here? Alright, he's waiting on it. Nope, he just kind of stood there awkwardly. Very cool, Dio, very cool. Alright, um, that was... something. Couldn't even give us the $5 footlong pose, SMH. What a heel. He was teasing the crowd right there. And now, here comes the longest-lasting Chaos Wrestler of all time. Put your hands together for Disco Bear. Another new look. Seems to have put on a little bit of weight, but I don't think that's going to stop him. Look at that smoke effect right there. Oh wow, he has gotten really hefty. Seems that uh, I might have shared a little too much of my brownies with him. As, uh, I might have been giving him the munchies. Is it okay for a fat guy to make fat jokes? I think it is. I think it is. I mean, I, Gary Dane, and Skinny, but the guy playing me, he's a pretty chubby fellow, so... You know, I, 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 I think there should be a pass there. Now... Pyro going off. Oh god, I think we might have actually lit some Walmart people on fire. He even lit the Legos on fire. That's right, the Walmart Street fight does have Legos in the ring, so uh, be very careful around those, because if there's one thing uh, wrestling companies that have used Legos before have shown, it's that. It's maximum pain. That's a lot of pain there. But Disco Bear, always with the flashy entrance, he knows how to get that crowd going. There's a reason why he's been with the company for as long as he has. In fact, uh, let, me, let me check to see when the first AWS Chaos is real quick, just to really show how long Disco Bear has been with this company. It's, uh, the, the result may shock you, it's Dio with a kneeling DDT, New Legacy Inc. Johnny's least favorite move. But Dio is like the king of trolling people. And oh my god, Disco Bear has built the company for over eight years. I forgot that, uh, Dis oh my god, Chaos turns nine this Halloween. Damn, I didn't realize how long this show's been going, holy shit. And that's just for, like, that's just for Chaos. Do you wanna know how long Unlimited's been around? Give you a hint, and even crazier long that. Weirdest part is that Disco Bear vs. Ghostface only has one like despite 113 views, dang. That was probably due to the really bad visual quality, so I can't really blame people there. Oh my god, nice DDT by Dio. Also, uh, the very first Unlimited match has 99 views. We need one more. We need one more. Unlimited turning, uh, 
Oh wow, Limited will be turning 9 later this month, May 13th. Well, we'll need to do something special with that here. We can do something special. It's Disco Bear, Springboard, oh, oh, oh. I should, I should talk to Zach about potentially doing something for the nine year anniversary. I, I, I think that has some fun potential there. So now Dio gets out of the ring. Disco Bear with the sledgehammer. Oh! Oh, he almost went for the nut shot. But Dio, he blocked it. But Billy to back onto the Legos. God damn. And a DDT on it, too. God, Dio's got to be in some serious pain right now. Oh, Disco Bear looking down at Dio. He's running out of the ring, but Dio with that steel chair. Slams it on Disco. Disco, go be fighting, though. Oh, got him in the ring. He's got him in the ring. All right, this is getting interesting. This is getting spicy, even. He's got a ladder. Interesting. What's Disco going to do with the ladder? Oh, nothing as Dio blocks him out. Hitting him. Punches and bunches. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, throws him into the back wall of the Walmart. I guess it's about time Walmart finally started selling walls around here, so... Good on Walmart for finally living up to your name. Instead of living that lie all these years. Swinging neckbreaker by Dio Brando. He is showing right now how he became a two-time Canadian ch Oh, he's climbing up the thingy right there. The scaffolding wall. And now he's like threatening to punch Disco Bear. Oh, diving stomp and he missed. And now Disco throws him into the stairs right there. And oh, okay, well, it seems that we're in an awkward ass position here. So now both these men are kind of stuck behind the stairs. Um, we're probably gonna. Oh, nice little rollback punch. Oh, but he hit, he hit vacant trying to interfere. Uh, sorry about that blackout there, but it seems like, okay, everything seems back in function. Dio is climbing up the stairs. Now he's in back in the ring. Disco's back in the ring. Dio climbs back out, but Disco punches him. What a dirty maneuver by the disco -y bear right here. Now going for a diving. Diving Hurricanrata into the stairs. Devastating move by the disco bear right there. Dio kicking back. Oh, throws him back in. No, he fakes us out. Irish whip. The Dio Irish whips. Disco bear into the stair. And now he's climbing up the scaffold again. But now Disco Bear is trapped behind the table. Oh my god, this is some... Do you guys ever think that, like... Do you guys ever ponder why you had the perspective of the individual that you are in? Like, the person you live as is the point of view that you have. Only you have your perspective. You're never getting anyone else's unless reincarnation happens. But even then, you wouldn't remember the previous life. Isn't that crazy to think about? It's Disco Bear diving butt-ass first into the wall for no reason. It falls up with an impressive kip-up. Oh my god. And he's doing a little disco dance, but oh, jeez. It gains a mid-air. And then the face. And then again in the face. Oh my god. Brutal assault by Dio. Penny Disco on the ladder. Oh, but immediately kicks out. Disco Bear's got a lot of fight left in him, man. You can't keep the dancer down. Oh, maybe breaking a stick on him might change that, though. No one is happy tree friends luck. That probably gave him some, like, horrific injuries and splinters. But at the same time, though, he always comes back. Even with a back breaker, which has been Disco Bear's longtime enemy. His back. Oh, God, Dio targeting it with the hammer. Disco Bear's sick of taking it. He's gonna use this big boy framed up clothesline. Bulldog! Nice move by Disco there. He is finally getting some major offense. He's been needing that. Throws the stair the trash at D. Oh, power slam. Never mind. Oh my god. And now, oh my RKO onto the broken stick. A. Two. D. Oh my. Disco just kicked out of an RKO. Holy crap! I didn't even know that was possible. It falls off the beautiful turning in midair moonsault. Hey, two, another kick out by Disco Bear. Gotta say, Dio really showing impressive like agility in this match here. Now he's going back to his more methodical knee strike. Disco is bleeding now. 
This could be he's trying. Oh, surprise roll. And, oh, not even an A cow. I thought Disco had a lot in the tank, but it seems like Dio might have even more. He's got some really good gas mileage. Oh, God. Vicious uppercut onto the... I think those are Slim Jims. I'm not sure. Oh, took the trash shop and missed. Irish whip. Oh, he almost went that spinning back elbow the movie he won the Canadian title with. But that didn't last long. Hangman's... Oh, he's made the crowd wait for it. Big ol' Hangman DDT. Devastating. Is that gonna be it? Dio's taking his time. Oh no, he's calling him up. He he knows that Disco's gonna put up a fight. A second RKO, this time on the trash can. God, Dio really knows how to hit those RKOs, man. Ever since the meme house when he used it to kill a guy. Dio wins the match here. Disco Bear put up a hell of a fight, but Dio Brando, though, he is just plain ruthless. They didn't even have replays. That's how, like, kind of surprising considering how bombastic the match was, but you see Dio so brave. Big win for him right here. And even though the meme house may not be at his corner right now, you know they're watching at, at their house, celebrating their friend's victory here. And who knows, we might see more from Dio. We'll just have to wait and see. Is wait. Is he going to finally give the crowd the pose? He finally does the pose. Let's go. Unless I missed the first one, which, to be fair, wouldn't be impossible considering I'm canonically an idiot. But, uh, yeah, thank you for the great match rating. And uh, next up, stay tuned because we're going to see the, the debut of the ultra mega star, Veer Mahan. And hopefully we'll get to do something for the AWS Unlimited Anniversary, uh... Worst case scenario, might be like a little short video thanking everybody or something like that, but if we're lucky, we might get a match. We'll have to wait and see, but until then, like I said, next Unorganized, we get the uh, the Veer debut, and yeah, this has been Gary, and uh, Dio gives the good suck.